What's up guys, Ashby at Ashby Farms, and today's discussion is on some of the threads that I read. Um, I'm a big part of uh, Facebook beekeeping groups, which is uh, NC Beekeepers, North Carolina Beekeepers, because our home is North Carolina. Uh, I know that every state has their own threads and whatnot, but so today's discussion is about mite treatment specific to using oxalic acid uh, vaporization during August as an effective mite treatment. Um, the reason I, I want to bring this up today is uh, there's a lot of misinformation out there on YouTube. So these are solely my opinions, of course, but I like to read uh, and follow a lot of studies and effectiveness. And so, um, Oxalic acid can be used in shop towels mixed with glycerin and vegetable oil. It's better done as soon as the honey supers come off. Uh, today's like the 13th of August. Most of our honey has been off of our hives for anywhere from a week to two months as we work through each yard. Uh, it took us two months to get through all, all, of, our, um, all of our honey. But when, when we look at the effectiveness of, uh, of oxalic acid, if you, like I said, shop towels, glycerin, vegetable oil, and oxalic acid, Randy Oliver's done a lot of studies on this. You can put it right onto the hives. It is used more as um, let's keep the mite levels where they are, the mite infestation, versus say something like Apivar or Apigar, which is just going to knock the mite levels way down. But remember, for Piedmont, North Carolina, our colony numbers kind of peak around the third, fourth week of June, but mite loads continue to peak. So, so while the colonies, the number of bees in the colony is going down, mites are still going up. And that really peaks out around the first or second week of August. And that's when we start to see mite loads cross that threshold of there's no coming back. So, then we, we ask the question as beekeepers, based on everything we know right now, what is an effective way to really knock down the mite numbers? And again, the reason that's important is we're trying to make sure to have healthy fall bees, which in turn are our winter bees, or those fall bees are going to raise our winter bees. So timeline wise, think of it this way. If we can get a healthy egg laid September 1st, then that means it is a, a, a nurse bee uh, starting around the 20th of September and it's a nurse bee until mid-October it gets it stays warm around here through Thanksgiving so that month between mid-October and say December 1st six weeks there those are our winter bees so we want to we want to really focus on knocking down the mite load in August so as to have healthy winter bees. Healthy winter bees are raised by healthy fall bees, if you follow. So back to oxalic acid. Oxalic acid vaporization works really well on knocking down any mites that are exposed in the colony. But this time of year in August, 60 to 70% of your mites are going to be underneath the wax cappings of late stage brood. And so oxalic acid does not penetrate through that wax capping. So if you, if you were to use OA, oxalic acid, um, you would need to uh, hit, the, hit the bees with it every couple of days. So Jennifer Berry did a study at University of Georgia. Bob Benny did a video on this uh, maybe a year ago or so if you, if you wanna watch all the intricate details of this. Um, I followed up on the study myself what they found is very interesting. They looked at how many hits of oxalic acid does it take every other day to make not only the curve of the mites going up to flatten, but to actually turn down the same effectiveness of Apigard or Apivar. Their findings was it took nine applications every other day. So in 18 days, you get nine applications of oxalic acid vaporization um, at night when all the bees are home. And what's occurring there is every other day you've got mites, uh, let's say a nurse bee hatches out and the mites come out with her and they're looking to jump ship into the next larva that's about to get capped. And so uh, they needed to hit with OAV 
every other day, nine applications to get it to turn the corner going down. That's not bad if you have the time and you've only got a dozen colonies. But in an application like us where we've got 500 colonies, it's simply not um, doable. Even if I was a full-time beekeeper and didn't have a day job. So uh, again, with so much misinformation, I hope I've provided some clarity that oxalic acid this time of year is practically ineffective. Um, you're better off using Apivar or Apigard. My last video was, was on using both. Um, I like using Apivar strips as it's a little gentler. It's more of a, um, more of a passive technique where you just drop the strip in the hive. We've got a bunch of small nukes right now that are ranging from two to four frames. So they get one strip of Apivar. And as the bees bump into it over the course of six weeks, seven weeks, uh, really that first big punch is there the first three weeks. We're knocking the mite load down to a threshold to which the bees can withstand, which is less than 1%. Or um, another way to test that is a half a cup of bees is about 300 bees. You wanna see three mites or less per half a cup of bees. Um, Apigard, on the other hand, is very effective but you can literally run your bees out of the colony. So we, the standard dose for that is, is uh, 50 grams, and we put in a 30 gram application on three different times um, a week apart, a week to 10 days, just depends on how soon I can get back to them with life plus weather. Um, so you, you've got some variability there, but really those first two applications are gonna be a big punch to the mites within the colony. So. Um, that's what we're choosing to do this year. And I hope that provides some clarity for you on uh, different types of, um, I guess you call it a miticide, a way to get rid of varroa mites. So guys, thanks for tuning in and watching my videos. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me a comment. Let me know if I can help. But anyway, um, if you like today's con uh, content, uh, I ask personal favor as we're trying to grow our YouTube channel, if you would please uh, comment and like and if you really found it effective or you've got somebody in your bee club who's confused about um, different applications for getting rid of mites, please share this, this video. All those things help me get found in the YouTube algorithm. So we'll see you on the next episode. Thanks for tuning in. Again, I'm Ashby with Ashby Farms. Y'all have a great day.